my stream should be starting all being well. Hello everybody. You can see it just takes a few seconds to refresh. Hopefully the layout will be the same today. It had altered itself again yesterday. It seems to be working all right. Check I've got the cameras on the left, which I have. Playing the Audi Super Blitz Arena here on Lead Chess. As per usual, three minute blitz, a 57 minute arena, so we'll get around 10 games in. And my rating here is 21.49 at the start, so anything around that at the end I'll have done pretty well. Oh, we've got two title players today, 2600 IM. You can see I've lost to him once previously. We have a 2400 IM I've not played before. 137 players, but it should go well over 500 as the event goes on. Oh, I'll check my sound levels. My sound is fine, just so I can hear the moves on the board. My first game should be against whoever I'm next to. It should be one plays two, three plays four, and so on. Ten, nine, right, good eight, luck, everybody. seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. All right, two, one, three, seven. Good luck. You see, we played three times before. I'm two, one down. I'll play Karakhan. Plays this line again. I'll play g6. Okay, let's go e5. I think I'm going to really gambit here. Do I want to do that? I'm going to push a pawn actually. Drop back and try and get the knight to one of these. Let's go the natural path. I might just sidestep if he checks. He doesn't. Play a knight up and across, maybe. Okay, well, I can go this way then. <coughs> okay, let's bring the bishop up. Maybe rook behind, I guess, is a sensible plan. Get behind the pawn. Okay. I'm going to keep the bishop on the board. I might even go h5 here and run up the board. I'm not sure if it's actually that feasible. Okay, I don't think it's feasible now. Let's play a rook across. Oh, why have I done that? I've just blundered this. He just takes. I mean, maybe I've got a queen check. He can force the queen off the board now, can he? Oh, across a take. Let's take... He's played bishop down, hitting the rook. I guess this is a natural move. I should probably go here to cover this. But now I can't really get across here. Yeah, I've played this very poorly. Terrible position. But we'll just try our best in the next game if this one finishes like it looks like it's going to finish. Okay, let's hit the bishop. Rook check, I think, king up is okay. So he's threatening rook check. Let's just drop the rook back. He's maybe even got bishop takes now. Takes, takes, takes. Step into the corner. Mm. the bishop. Okay, I guess I have to drop back. Hmm, to say I've played this a bit poorly is a little bit of an understatement. I've not played this very well at all. I think I have to take that. He must have a way to win this, he must do. See, the immediate check is covered. Rook down I can take and I'm still covering this. Threatens a discovery. Queen across I guess is a move. Double check I can then take. Anywhere else I take the queen. Let's play queen across because we hit the rook as well. B6 
bishop moves anywhere, I take the queen. A double check I can take. But I mustn't pre-move here. So queen in. Hangs the rook. Excellent, I've swindled one. Do not deserve that at all, do I? Mm, that's just chess though, it's a very hard game. One one move and just changes it completely. 2023. Okay, he's gone berserk without even thinking about it. A thousand games, easily enough to establish a rating. When players go berserk, you want to try and not overly simplify the game too much. So, so you can try and just find the odd move where you make them stop and think. Let's play up, threaten to take. And there's a pawn loose. Players up. So I'll take. Grab. Yeah. Bishop up is interesting, but I think I should castle first. Now, Bishop up threatens this should he castle immediately. What else has he got? I don't want to get my queen trapped, but let's play it for now. So, knight becomes a move if he castles. Yeah, he's gone after the queen. So, which square to go on? Does it matter? Maybe it does. Let's go on the light square one. Oh, that was a free rook I could have just taken, right? Oh, we both just lost our minds. That was a free rook I could have just taken it. I could have just taken he just hung his rook and I just didn't even see it. I saw it as soon as I'd made the move. Hmm. Right, 2031, good luck. What's he trying to do here? Let's play a queen up. He's playing a really crazy position. Just gotta be patient. How do I break through? Let's centralize the rook. Bishop up, maybe knight across, potentially it hangs this. So let's push then. Push, if he takes, he hangs the rook. Um, it must be right to open the h file, it must be right. Don't care if he takes the bishop or the pawn. Trying to just open the files up. Even if he takes the pawn, that seems alright. He pushes, but now I can surely push. It looks very dicey for black. He might well survive this, but it looks very dicey. Okay, and I'd like to play pawn up... I think I will. I don't think he can get away with this. He might do. He might do. Oh, he takes. Okay. Let's just take and get the rook across then. Get it into play. I can maybe take here first. Let's take there and release the knight. We're going to try and get the queen across at some point. He pushes. Again, I'm not worried about that. Maybe I should be. Let's go in, hit the bishop. I guess I could pre-move takes, but I don't think I need to. So he's played up. Let's play queen back, hit the pawn. I think I will pre-move now in case he takes. So he's allowing me to take. So let's take this first and then grab the pawn. He can't take back here because he hangs the queen. So I'm threatening to take the bishop next. Okay, he's gone back. So I deflect the knight, there's a check playable. I'm not sure that's that good. Take, knight takes. Yeah, I can just take. If he takes, he hangs the queen again. Okay, he offers the trade. Rook check, he just takes. I'm going to put the bishop back. Still not an easy game to convert. Okay, I'll 
Fred that guard the pawn. He could have just grabbed a free pawn there. But these pawns might be lost. I might end up not winning this one. Guard the pawn. The bishop forward. Let's hit the knight. Now, can I get the pawns onto dark squares at some point? Let's put the king on a dark square first. I'll try and cover these. Yeah, it's actually very, very difficult to find a way to win this. Let's play a bishop back over, maybe. Or king across. Oh, bishop down is a move here with tempo. Trouble is, if I lose all these pawns, I won't actually be able to promote. Um, okay, let's take one. Now, I can't step through there, so I'll come back this side. Yeah, I don't think there's any way actually through, or is there? Is there? No, there's no way through, is there? I don't see how I do this. Okay, I'll offer him a draw. I don't think there's any way to win this. Okay, I won't offer another draw. I'll just play on now. He's made the mistake. Oh, and I blundered stalemate after all that. Did all the hard work and then blundered stalemate. Typical. But not to worry, that's just chess. 16 good luck he goes back so I'll just take and bishop up Knight up. Oh, hello Jethro, hope you're having a good day. I've started off okay here, but just gave away a sloppy stalemate there, but not to worry. Can I play a knight across here, just to pressure the pawn, queen up to come. Bishop back. He's got two pieces defending it, so queen up is a threat. Rook a Cross to pressure here as well. Maybe knight across. So again, two defend it, three attack it. So there is a threat to take. But take, take, take. And he would have a bishop pin potentially. Let's play rook across. Okay. Let's play a knight over and try and go forward. If knight in, maybe I can just trade, because my bishop's not really doing a lot. And if I get the knight here, I'm still hitting the pawn.
Okay, I've got a little bit of time this game, so what to do, what to do. Night Up still looks like the natural move. He's restricted this pawn. Takes, takes, doesn't work now. So again, three attack the pawn and two defend it. So it's a threat again. I'm hitting this, but if I take, he takes. I could go with the queen. Let's do it. Go with the queen, not the knight, otherwise he had the pin. Knight up is a threat now. Okay. Let's just plant the knight forward, hit the bishop, and maybe play bishop up. Um, okay, trade. I'll just calmly guard the pawn, double the rooks. At some point I might be able to push. Maybe rook here first to guard the pawn, then push. Hello Jericho, hope you're having a good day as well. Um, let's play here and look to push. Okay, let's maybe not. So up. Actually, I could still play it. Why not? He might sack the rook. Let's take. Again, just try and go straight back. Oh, do I want to go straight back? I think I do, actually. Whoa, he's getting very, very, very adventurous there. Let's push. If he takes, he rehangs the knight. So take. So pawn up, takes, knight across. I don't think quite works for me. Hmm. Let's play rock across and takes. Again, I've got a little bit of time this game, so I can afford to slow down a little bit. Your game is actually going worse, is it? That happens to everybody at some point, of course. We all get good spells and bad spells, but if you keep plodding away, hopefully you'll improve. Let's play rock across. If he takes, I can take. I need to reposition this knight now. Maybe something like this or try and somehow get forward at some point not right this but try and get the knight on this side of the board yeah, he's gone back that way so now knight across is a move but actually a knight across threatens to push because i'm guarding the pawn here one two three he's only four moves off let's push So I've got time on my side this game, so I've just got to not blunder him queening. Let's come back. He hits the rook, so I'll go behind the pawn. And again, knight up might be a move. Knight across looks like a move. So he hits the pawn. I'm going to go here and then potentially come back. I guess he can take, but... Not really a massive issue, I hope. Let's hit the knight. He's nearly out of time. I'm playing the clock here as much as a position. Let's hit the pawn. Yeah, I was playing the client of the clock there as well as a position. Oops, where am I? 1943, good luck. Maybe try and remove this defending bishop. I'll hit this bishop first. Um, okay, he wants to push forward. I'll still play this, I think, and then I'll just push if he plays e5. So I'll take there first. Um, let's develop. Take. Okay, in a very dangerous position this as well because eventually he's going to play this let's drop back now let's push goes back so try and get a rook on this file yeah he's hitting there now so bishop up to guard the pawn and maybe pawn up again okay, just try and kick the knight somewhere He's playing pretty well here. Going to be a difficult one, this one. Knight across is a natural move, but then I'm kind of inviting the trouble anyway. This might actually help me simplify. So 
So is there a tactic? I don't see it. I'm going to take there and there. I mean, I've obviously got a queen check. Well, let's just trade the rook. Hello, Anthony. Hope you're having a good day. Uh, what am I doing? I'm potentially going to lose a pawn. Let's hit the knight. He's playing very well here, so I need to kind of concentrate for this one. Do I get ambitious? Get ambitious or not? Let's get the rook developed and then maybe queen up as a move. Let's hit the rook. I don't mind if he checks. I've got a square. Okay. Let's play pawn up. He is playing pretty well and he's playing pretty quick as well. Now again, can I get very ambitious? Is it too too mad yeah I think it's a bit bold that I don't actually see what I really do though I'm gonna play f4 just because I don't see what else to do if he checks I've got queen back oh he offers a trade hmm Let's play king across this knight could be very dangerous I can't go there I allow this so let's hit the knight he won't want to trade this, I don't think. Oh, he has. I think I can take. But now I'm threatening to potentially push at some point. Oh, he's allowed it. That's a mistake. He could have gone too there. Now this side is pretty closed. I can kind of ignore that. But what else do I do? Take, take, up oh, must be winning, surely. It must be winning. Take, take, up, king down's no good, up. Now king across. And he has to move somewhere, and I'm going to get through here, I think. Excellent, very good. So yeah, I've started okay. I blundered one silly stalemate when I had a one position, but started okay. 2068 good luck man I did this yesterday I started okay yesterday and then I just couldn't win a game at all in the last four or five okay I'm gonna take there mix it up a bit okay he comes forward Actually, let's play bishop up. he probably play knight in. I don't mind trading. He goes back. Castle. Knight in again is a move for me as well. So knight forward. <coughs> now, which one? I'm going to go with the bishop. Whether it's right or wrong, I don't know. And let's force him to do something here, either take or retreat. He takes. E4 might be interesting here because he's probably going to push at some point. Oh, he plays E5. Well, let's take here first. I think I'll just calmly drop the bishop back, see if he wants to push. I've always got pawn forward here. Actually, let's play queen up because we hit pawns. Knight across, I guess, and I can push. All right, let's push the pawn, try and kick this knight. Knight in, maybe I can trade. It's probably, again, more active than my bishop. Again, another one of these odd games where I'm actually up on the clock. I'm normally down against everybody. Normally against everybody. Let's push. Knight in, there's a pawn hanging. Knight in, I think I can grab the pawn, so why not? Let's just take. Actually, let's go back. Uh, no, not there because I hang this. Let's go here. Now I am threatening to take. It's just a clean pawn. 
take rook takes, I can maybe get the other rook across. He's offered the queen trade, so I can take the knight. He takes a take, he takes pawn up again. It looks very good. Let's go this way. I'll just get behind the pawn and try and push. Again, as long as I don't blunder the back rank, so one of these needs to be played at some point. Uh, let's play it now. So I've got this in, so now I can push here. Um, I think I can just ignore that and push. Again, push, threatening to go forward. If rook back, I can still play rook here. If he takes, I just take the back rook. So I think it's winning, but I might be missing something, of course. Okay, that's a good win. Another one. Oh, I'm in eighth place. I won't finish in eighth, but very good for the first half. Five wins and one draw. We have a 2600 IM in this. I've lost to him once previously. 2272. Good luck. He's in sixth place in a high rated place. So this will be a bit of a step up. But let's see how we do. I tried this a few games yesterday and it kind of went wrong a little bit. Let's play a knight across. Try and get rid of that bishop. Now you just have to not forget about moves like this. Um, I guess c5 is playable. Queen down, knight back. Let's just play it. Yeah, he's played that anyway. So let's play a knight back. Okay, I'm going to take, I might be getting already a fairly poor position here now. I'm probably going to have to play this, but if he gets rook in, it looks very bad, doesn't it? Let's push the pawn. He pushes. Let's just play a queen back. I might have to play a knight back to where I had it. Oh, have I just blundered that anywhere? Terrible lapse. Okay, so I've just blundered this one. I'll just get on with another game. I just blundered a piece there, but it's an arena tournament. Just get on with the next one. No point wasting another couple of minutes when I can just play another game. There's another title player in. See, we've not played before. 2170, good luck. I might try something attacking here. Whoa, that's surely a mistake. That's just a free pawn, right? What am I missing? Okay, let's play a bishop up. I don't care if I lose stuff this side. I'm going to likely keep the king here. Let's drop the knight back and across. Mm, maybe bishop back. Yeah, you could see that coming. What do I do about it? I think I'm actually just going to trade. Oh, no, let's get the knight across. Queen can maybe go this way. The rook's going to come across. Very wild position, very wild. See, I need to see if I can try and castle queen side, but you can see this coming as well. Bishop down. Okay, let's check then. Maybe grab a pawn, but then it does open up all this sorts of nonsense. 
Okay, I'm gonna go for it. We get a Templar hitting the knight. Not sure what I next do though. Maybe knight forward, but does it really achieve anything? I'm not sure it does. Yeah, knight does indeed come forward. So castle, knight takes, king across. I think it looks playable. Just king across. I want to play something like this, but I don't think it actually works. Let's play the knight forward. Actually, is my queen almost trapped here? I can grab a pawn if a rook comes over, but where else can I go? I've got a square there. Okay, well now I can grab another pawn, right? What am I missing? Do I want it is a question. I'm going to take it, but might be a mistake. Queen across. It's very easy to just miss a move in these crazy positions. It's so easy to just miss one move and that's it, game gone. Like, how do I get forward? Knight across is a big threat. That looks very tempting, but it does open this up. It looks as good a plan as any. If the bishop wanders off on the right foul, there's queen takes, king takes, and knight check. But it's not playable right now. What's that trying to do? I'm not sure. Let's just go back. Ooh, now I see what he wants to do, and I probably can't stop it. So queen check, king up, check takes, check, let's play it. Oh, he's got the rook there, I just missed it. He's got the rook covering, I just hadn't seen it, but I've got the bishop as well. Um, well now I've got queen check, right? How does he deal with that? He takes the knight, queen check. Oh, I don't have queen check, he's got a knight. He only needs this, across, check, up, check, back, I must be lost, I have to find a killer move and I don't see it, do not see it, hmm, I just do not see the killer move, so I'm probably lost here. He takes. Oh, I've given him too much time trying to find a defence there. Far too much time. Yeah, nothing I could do there. I could see all that, I just couldn't see how to defend it. But I mean, very interesting game, but very easy to go wrong in those positions. But not to worry. You just get on with the next one. 2062, good luck. Across. I'm just going to try and gain space here, I think. Maybe bishop backs a move. Um, okay, let's try and gain space. I think I'm going to take her. Let's play a knight back. I could probably do with the rook back here and try and push. Okay, rook back. Okay, let's push. Okay, he's hitting the bishop, but it is guarded. Let's just push the pawn again. Okay, I'll take. I'm going to give up that one as well. I 
Rookford feels a little bit ambitious. Let's play Knight across, guard the Rook. Just for the longer term, it, as and when he gets to the back rank, then I can maybe look to go forward. <coughs> again, a very tricky position again. Oh, he sacks the exchange. Okay. Well, he definitely won't trade there. Knight up takes, takes, takes. I don't like the look of that. Let's just play a queen across. He won't take here, he'll retreat. Let's play a queen up. Again, he'll probably go back. So now I'm going to hit the two pieces. Gone for that mate threat. I've got queen check and I can get the queen off the board, so I can definitely defend it. Check, check, king up. Is there anything else? Rook up, he just takes. I don't see it, so I don't want to waste time. So, oh, you didn't see that I was offering the queen trade there. You just didn't see it there, so a bit lucky with that one. These things happen to everybody, blunders. 22 8, good luck. Goes e3, knight c6. Okay, let's take. Play an end game if he trades, if he takes with an e pawn. Take him back. Um. I think c6 and knight this way maybe. Queen checks very dangerous. It's very common to sack a pawn in the retty like this. I do it myself. Very standard to do. Because he's got the open f file. It could be really dangerous this one. Let's try and get rid of one of the pieces. I'm going to try and go like this. Queen up is potentially a move, but he's got a very obvious rook across. So I might need to play the knight back instead. Yeah, let's bring the knight back. Okay, he pushes. Let's go here. The immediate push is covered. So can I get a pawn up in? Yeah, that allows knight in if I do, so I think I might play knight there, but knight there he pushes. Yeah, let's go knight there. If he pushes, I can maybe jump over with one of the knights. Probably this one, because he's hitting it. Let's see what he does. So up, takes, 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 rock across. I'm going to play this actually, it looks interesting. It might be bad, but it looks interesting. Okay, take. Hit the bishop and try and get a knight in here. If he takes now, I can take. Bishop covers the rook. So he's hit the pawn. So rook up. Again, I'm very close to being okay, but I'm very close to being lost as well. Ooh, queen across is a threat to it here, but I have to guard the pawn. The queen across h6 looks pretty forced. But I'm potentially close to getting rook across and then threatening to take. Knight takes, queen takes, rook takes, pawn takes looks okay. Might not be okay, but it looks okay. Yeah, that's what he's played. So is there any reason not to play h6? The only alternative really is to take the knight, I think. Take, queen takes, looks bad. I think I have to play h6. He's gone back. 
So knight up to hit the bishop and then maybe knight in as a move. Hmm. Actually, no, let's double the rooks up first. He's hitting a pawn. But I'm threatening to trade all the rooks off and then grab the knight. So rook across is a threat. Okay, well now I can just take. So I've got queen up pinning the bishop. Anything better? He's got queen takes, but I think I'm all right. So I think it's playable. If he takes, I take with a check and my king's got a square here. Mm. Knight in. Just took the king away. I'm threatening knight across here or queen takes and check. But he won't leave the queen there though. Okay, so takes, takes, no good. Again, it's still not a formality. I'm going to try and take. If he defends it, I'll grab the pawn. So take. I grab the pawn, then the other pawn. Now I'm a clean bishop up, so if I get the queen off now, it should be comfortably winning. Doesn't mean it will be. I've got time. Ah, oh, just check and queen back. That should win. Pin the queen. Um, so again, no need to do anything silly here. Leave the pawn in a dark square. Actually, let's go forward in a dark square and defend it. So this should be a good win. My first win against one of the stronger players in this event then. Very, very good. Very good. So not doing too bad today. A few sloppy blunders, but that's to be expected. 2180, good luck. See, I've, I remember I lost a funny game at this point before. Yeah, I think he went berserk last time as well. Okay, let's play something different then. Let's go e3 actually there, why not? I don't want to completely close it down. Oh, now that's a tempter. Let's go up with the knight. I could actually potentially take and double his pawn. I think that looks interesting. So I get tempo hitting a pawn and get the rook across. The knight's got a good square or a good square. I'm going to bring the bishop back and try and get it active. Maybe knight up. Hmm. So I don't want to oversimplify it. I'm going to go this way. I'd rather get rid of the bishop than the knight. Oh, he's given me a fork again. Oh, I blundered the rook. What am I doing? I just didn't see it, so I've lost another one. Just simply didn't see that. Didn't see that it was a check. Yeah, there's no tactic here, is there? Hmm. No, I should have won that game very easily. Should have won that one easily, but well done to my opponent. Silly blunder. 2188, good luck. Very standard King's Indian structure so far. Let's push and push. I just push. Oh, 
all his pieces are on the other side of the board so it's a good time to try and attack here um, let's hit the bishop and play queen up maybe there's a way at some point to try and sack a knight with a move like this I don't think it works right now but you can try it at some point let's play a knight forward I'm looking at maybe taking and then even bishop up as well pre-move in case he takes here he doesn't I want to try and get the queen here and potentially a sack here is playable as well knight down just ignore it excuse me but there is a threat takes takes check whether it's a good threat is another matter but there is a threat but bishop right down is a move as well takes takes now do I sack the rook probably I'm gonna take you I'm just gonna go all in if it doesn't work it doesn't work he can't take there because it's mate so he can't just grab the knight I'm threatening this a mate in two as well And I'm threatening bishop up or queen up behind the knight for a discovery. So very dangerous threats here. Whatever happens again, I'm a minute up on the clock again. I'm normally down against everybody. I don't know why today, but he's moved the knight so I can just sit back and concentrate now. So a queen takes here. He has to block with a bishop, right? But then I've got knight check winning the queen. That should be good enough, right? King can't move, so this should just win on the spot. Let's hit the queen. Right, so let's take with a check and then take here or take here. Take and take or check and take. Excellent, very good, very good. I'm not a King's Indian player, I don't play it very often, but I had a couple of interesting wins like that in it in the last few weeks. But it's not something I play very often. Right, 10 minutes left, so the next game could be the last one. If there's anything under 6 minutes left, I'll just stop. So let's just see how we get on with the next one, but interesting game. Right, 1971, good luck. Again, he's doing very well, 20th position. Should be an established rating. Right, again, try and remove the defending bishop. He pushes, so I'll push. Okay, he's giving me time to try h4, h5. Could be dangerous. I think I'll take. I'll probably still take here. He'll have a move, I think. So something like this might come. Oh, he's allowing h5. So he wants me to play it, I think. Takes, takes, takes. I'm going to play it anyway. I think he actually wants me to. Oh, he's allowing me to take. So we're threatening just to take here. Now knight across is obviously a move. Hit the rook. Takes, knight takes, doesn't break through. So let's hit the rook. So he's given me the rook as well. Okay, I might not have a winning attack, so I'll just trade. Um, actually, let's castle there. Now I need a square for the knight. I haven't actually really got one. This could easily backfire. Very, very easily. I might need something like this. Okay, so let's push and threaten to support the pawn. Oh, he allows it as well. That feels like a mistake. Okay. Actually, let's hit the knight there. I probably need to get the queen back now and go into defense mode. But I've got a nice pawn chain. 
But yeah, my attack is going to turn into a defense quickly now, I think. Queen back here and try and check and get the queen off the board would be good. Just in instinctively feels like I should try and get rid of the queen. Can I do it? What's the threat? I'm going to try it. Let's try and get the queen off. He's checked. So I go back. I'm still threatening check. So I can still do that. Now, do I take here first? No, because I'm hanging this. So I'll get rid of the queen. So we're hitting a pawn as well, but so is my opponent. But I've got an advanced pawn. Can I use it? If he goes back, I can just push and I'm threatening to queen next move. So forward, so again I can push, I can take, knight forward, take. Let's take because the knight forward is covered. I'd just trade if I, if he comes forward. Hmm. I thought I could take here and maybe hit the knight, but I don't want to let the knight in. Check. King up, check, takes, takes, not quite. Let's double the rooks up. Again, I could I could easily lose this one very easily. Okay, so rook up. He definitely won't want to trade the rooks, so I'm safe to play rook up and guard the pawn. Whoa, so he goes there, he takes, and again it's the same problem in reverse. Rook across he can push. Maybe I've got rook behind the bishop here. Yeah, let's hit the bishop and hit the pawn. I think he's made a mistake. So he takes. Okay, I've actually just got a straight check here, check. King up he escapes. So take, take. Let's check. Take. That's covered, that's covered. He grabs. There's no knight check, so there's no one move checkmate. If I get the king safe, it's just winning. Yeah, we're down to five minutes, so this is my last game, whatever, now. Um, that threatens checkmate there. Excellent, you just didn't see the mate. So very good, I've had a pretty good tournament today then. So when I'm finished, I'm in 19th place out of 827. And my rating's actually gone up 2171. I think it was 49 at the start. So very good, a 2300 rating performance, really good at my level. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 wins, 1 draw. And just the three losses, so that's actually gone pretty well. So that's gone pretty well. So that'll be it for today's streaming. I might be back later on this afternoon if something crops up, but there's nothing planned. So probably same time tomorrow for the same event. So thank you very much, everybody.